Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Ellie Hassan, a community member from live.perillo.com, sent me a $75 iTunes gift certificate the other day, and I was kind of taken aback. $50 was for a birthday present. Thank you, Ellie. And $25 was so that I could review this app. Teleport. I hadn't bought it yet because it was $25. It's a VNC application that uh, really impressed me from the first time uh, that I started uh, playing with it. It picked up uh, servers or VNC uh, machine, machines that had uh, the VNC service running uh, throughout my local network. I'm connected by Wi-Fi, so it picked up likely through Bonjour. I only had to add one manually, and that was on a machine on a completely different network, completely different ISP. Uh, he asked me what I thought of Teleport. I said I hadn't bought it, so he threw in $25 for me to review it, and his reasoning was, he says, I know, I'm spending the money to have you review it to see if it's worth the money, but, he notes, I guess this way, the whole community knows, not just me. So, Ellie, that was really selfless of you, and I will put the other $50 to good use reviewing apps uh, to let everybody know whether or not those apps are worth getting in the iTunes App Store. So, as I said, right away it picked up machines on my network. What I'm going to do is hopefully show you uh, the demonstration for Icarus, which is the laptop that's usually sitting in front of me. It connects pretty much right away, and if I wanted to, I could set different options. I could, uh, you know, zoom in on the icons and browse around. I can zoom in even closer. Look at that. Look at that text mate icon, and I can move the cursor over there. And look at that. There, there's Safari here, and if I wanted to key in, uh, there's the untitled. If I wanted to key in, um, a, uh, a URL, I could easily do that by pulling up the keyboard, typing it in, and then it would actually show me here. I'm not going to actually key it in totally, but if you can tell the white text right here, uh, it kind of it's kind of an onion skin layer to show you the text that you're typing underneath wherever you happen to be typing, and you saw it under there. Uh, I can go in and I can maneuver through whatever page I happen to be on by pressing any of these keys, insert, delete, space, the number of keys, uh, I could quit the app, close it, escape, tab. I can move up or down the page, move the cursor around, press the OK button, uh, scroll up or down in the window. And as you noticed, it crashed. For some reason, Teleport, despite it being a $25 app, has been relatively unstable for me, which is a bit depressing. I, I expected a little bit more. However, I do believe this has promise, especially when compared to Mocha VNC. Uh, even though Mocha VNC Lite is free in the App Store, um, this one seems to have, I think, a few more features that I would come to expect from a, a VNC uh, program that's worth $25. So let me, uh, let me zoom out a bit, and we're going to try this. This didn't work the last time I did it, although it did the other day. I tried pulling it up. I connected uh, the uh, Teleport app uh, on the iPhone to my, uh, um, I guess, my desktop here with two 30-inch screens, but, and it worked just fine. I mean, I, I brought the iPhone up close to the uh, uh, the video camera and was showing people I was dragging things around and doing things on this big screen but from then on uh, it's been completely unstable so and I mean teleport has been a bit unstable I'll get to that in a second what I'm gonna do is my best to double click the window and move it around there we go look at that it's enough to show you that I, I am indeed uh, controlling the window on the screen like almost instantaneously if you watch my finger as my finger moves, as I've clicked and um, I'm, I guess I'm holding on to the Windows title bar, that's the way I'm able to, to grab it, just like you know anything uh, that you might do in Mac OS X. You can use it with any uh, computer that uh, has a VNC service running, whether it's Mac OS X or whether it's uh, you know Windows or even Linux, any operating system with VNC. In fact, there's an option here uh, that when you set up a connection, you can turn it on so that uh, you don't load the GUI. You're just loading, a, I guess, a command line. Um, there are other options that allow you to scale the colors, change the cursor momentum. You could potentially turn the app sideways, and that would uh, go into landscape mode rather than portrait mode. Uh, it, it is pretty full-featured for a $25 app. However, as I said, it's also kind of buggy, just a little buggy. It's been prone to crashing, um, even on the new iPhone firmware 201. Uh, but you know that being said, I think it's definitely worth watching. If you have $25 to spend on a VNC app, I would likely wait until the first round or maybe the first couple of rounds of bug fixes are released. And hopefully the Teleport author or authors are watching this. But given the amount of polish that I've seen and especially the price, 
uh, that Teleport is set at, I really would expect that they're going to be on the ball in terms of customer service and fixing the bugs and taking uh, feature requests directly or likely through the App Store. So LE, thanks again uh, for the gift of uh, sharing this, uh, I guess, experience with the rest of the community as well as the birthday gift. Uh, you know I'm, I'm kind of uh, open to taking iTunes gift certificates for apps to review because if I didn't, I would be in the poorhouse. Uh, because some apps, like Teleport, can be kind of expensive. So thanks again for the gesture. I do appreciate it. My email address is chris at perillo.com. Feel free to drop me a line. Uh, maybe you've had a chance to play with Teleport. Maybe uh, you've got some ideas of what you would like to see in a VNC client for the iPhone or really any mobile device. Uh, you're also welcome to stop by the uh, chat room. Sorry, got a little... I was drinking uh, some coffee. Kind of got a little choked up. You know, when I talk about VNC clients, whoo, boy! <clears throat> Chat room is open 24 hours a day. We're typically talking tech, sometimes about software, sometimes about hardware. Sometimes we're talking about you. And me? I don't know. We're not really talking about you. We, we're not that kind of chat room. But we are full of, of, of geeky goodness, and you're welcome to join us 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and, and watch this live video feed where you never really know what's going to happen. Really, truly. And it's happening right now at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.